Hello everyone. So the other day I went to my local swap meet and I picked up a bag full of old video game systems, uh, games, and there's some good ones in there. So let me show you what, what I was able to get. Um, well, first of all, it was all in this bag here. I think I paid like 20, either 20 or 25 dollars, but there's as you can see, there's some um, uh, games here that are still in their box. But let's start with the bigger um, consoles here. And first off, uh, there's a Sega Genesis. Pretty dusty. Uh, a bunch of stuff in there. I've yet to test these or open them up or do anything with them. So I plan to uh, make a video for each of these um, systems to test them out. But this is a Sega Genesis. It is model number MK1631. And let's see if there's anything else that came with this. Uh, it's a bunch of crap, so I'm going to untangle all this stuff. But uh, let me put this here for now. As you can see, like I said, I've, I have it, I've yet to uh, even play with any of the stuff or take it out or even uh, look at it to see what comes and what doesn't come with the system. From, from what I can tell, it seems that most of the stuff might be for the, uh, the Nintendo 64 here, but let me just double check. There's a couple of controllers, three controllers. Um, oh, that is off camera, sorry. Um, I'll bring it in here in a second. Let me just untangle this mess and I do enjoy untangling stuff that I've got the patience for this the wife doesn't but I love this uh, this is a, a Game Boy Pocket adapter which there is a Game Boy in there so we could use this here in a second I'll set this aside The only other thing that I see here is a um, RF adapter. And this one is for the Nintendo 64. So there is nothing for the Genesis other than just the console by itself. So I do have um, some adapters and all that other good stuff, some AV cables to test this with. So we will be testing this in another video. So that's one. And here is the Nintendo 64. I heard something rattling in there. Yeah, there's something in there. I'm not sure what it is. Or is that just my imagination? Let's see. Oh, this one's pretty dirty, man. This one has seen better days. There's definitely something in there. Probably something that sounds like a marble. I don't know. Something that someone might have accidentally put in there. But I won't be able to take that out till I take it apart. Again, uh, in a separate video. This is just to uh, show you guys what I was able to find. And eventually, I'm going to uh, end up selling all this stuff. Hopefully for, well, I'm pretty sure it's already a profit uh, at any price to sell it for. Since I only paid like 20 bucks for all this stuff. And you'll see everything that came in here. Uh, so here is my power supply. I don't think I've ever owned a Nintendo 64. At least not that I can recall. So power supply. Looks like an audio video cable. Right here. That, uh, let's see anything in here. Did I remove jumper pack from control deck? Not sure what that means. Uh, this Nintendo 64 is model number NUS-001, USA in parentheses. Uh, a few dirty controllers here. Very dirty. Look like, it looks like they're original controllers from what I can tell. Another controller, the blue controller. Also seems like it's an original. And lastly, a gray controller, a dark gray controller, charcoal, whatever. And this one has some type of force pack, some type of expansion force pack. I'm assuming it's for, uh, I guess uh, it makes the controller vibrate or something. I have no idea. I've never used one, so I'm going to do some do some research on this and see what that does. Take these batteries out so they don't leak and mess up the, uh, the unit. 
So we'll put this back in there and again we'll test all this stuff in another video for the N64 and a looks like a coax adapter R, oh, RFE adapter. I already mentioned that. This one here for your uh, old school TVs. So that alone all this alone pays for the uh, for the whole lot. So assuming it works. So we'll take this apart in a separate video as I, as I mentioned a few times already. I'm put this aside for now. So this is what I have here. So Mega Man 2 with with this box and manual and the game itself. Let's see, this is for the Nintendo Game Boy. Here you go. Uh, Street Fighter 2 for the Sega Genesis manual and cartridge. Ten eighty degrees snowboarding. Uh, also, cartridge and manual. I don't think this is worth anything, but we'll see. Oh, this is um, as you can see here, uh, that is a rumble pack. So I'm not sure if this came with the rumble pack. I don't think it did, but designed for the N64 rumble pack. So that's what that. I'm gonna assume that's what that attachment was. So. That's for that. Uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time for the Nintendo 64. Uh, manual and game. So this might be a good one to um, flip here. Again, I'll, I'll list the prices. The game's in there. Um, there you go. It looks to be in very, very good condition, if not brand new. So that's awesome. Put that in there. Hopefully that fetches a good dollar. And then I have F1 World Grand Prix for the uh, Nintendo 64. Again, a game which looks brand new to me. And the owner's manual. Let me double check that if it is for this game or not. Yes, it is. All right, put this back in there. Really good. Uh, Cruising USA. I'm not sure if I, I might have this game somewhere, but uh, here it is for the uh, Nintendo 64. Uh, this goes with this, I'm going to assume. So, oh, and then I have, for the Game Boy, uh, another Zelda game. Uh, Le the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. So, there you go. Uh, Metroid 2, Return of Samus. Samus, Samus, and lastly, uh, Pokemon. I th I'm pretty sure that this Pokemon game itself, again, is probably worth more than what I paid for the whole lot. But this is a uh, Pokemon. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna guess a uh, Game Boy uh, Pokemon Red, maybe, if I recall. Uh, Charizard on the uh, cover. And that's that, and then. Uh, a Game Boy Pocket. I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, see if this works. I've yet to test this. I can tell just by looking at the back cover that the batteries have leaked. So uh, we're going to go ahead and troubleshoot this if it is, if the batteries are indeed, um, if the batteries did indeed damage the, uh, the unit itself to see if we could fix it. I've yet to test this as I mentioned. So, and it also came with a uh, Game Genie. Uh, is it for this? Yes, it is. So Game Genie for the uh, Nintendo Game Boy. So that's pretty cool. And it even has the uh, little booklet for um, for codes. So that's awesome. Yeah, sometimes people don't know what they're selling. So uh, I really, I think I scored on this deal. So Game Genie, Game Boy. So let's go ahead and move this all out of the way and uh, see if the Game Boy works. All right, so let's see here. I don't think I've ever, ever used a Game Boy Pocket, at least not that I recall. It's been a while. Uh, the light flickered, power light flickered. 
but again I can see that the batteries are have leaked so let's go ahead and remove those batteries uh, triple A's this one leaked this one hasn't leaked yet but there is some uh, residue there I don't think it got onto the board itself from what I can tell here but let's open it what the heck let's give it a good cleaning I'm uh, gonna need a tri-wing screwdriver this is Phillips got my tri-wing here this one right let me get that on focused here there we go sorry for the lighting guys it's really crappy right now uh, but there you go you can kind of see that hopefully and it's for these screws here I'm pretty sure most of you guys already know that but just in case um, right here a little let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you guys can see a little better to be all the screws yeah the back looks to be in great condition I don't see any visible damage from the batteries leaking so that's good it does need a good clean though it's pretty dirty uh, let's take all these screws out then I should have tested it first before I started taking it apart, but I like to do things backwards, I guess, to see if it's even worth going through all this trouble of trying to fix it and trying to clean it and make it look sellable. Or not make it look sellable. That didn't sound right. Bring it back to a sellable condition if it does work. If not, I guess you could probably sell it for parts. Okay, everything looks good. It looks good in here. Move this ribbon cable here. So have better access. Be very careful with these ribbon cables. Okay, Could probably clean this out too. Little membrane there. Clean this. Clean these. And this. And everything else I'll just wipe clean as carefully as possible. Same thing with this here. Let's remove the shielding. Oh, wrong screwdriver. Let's take this off. All right, let's give this a good cleaning. First of all, let me put these in here. Take those to the sink and wash those. Uh, let me grab some alcohol. Okay, I'm gonna take this to the sink and wash this too. So we'll wash these to the Let's tear their items for now. Let's clean this with some alcohol. Get some of this dirt off. That's stuck on it's stuck on there pretty good. So The, uh, the actual LCD glass looks to be in good condition. I don't see any major scratches or anything that would require me to replace it. 
try to keep this as original as possible. stubborn on dirt here I need to be a little bit more aggressive with either that or it might be uh, that it got dropped and the actual plastic is um, damaged much better. I don't want to get any uh, alcohol onto the adhesive here. I don't want it to um, come off. Okay. This case looks to be in better shape. So let this Set this aside for now, and I'm going to go ahead and take this to the sink and wash it out also. So I will be back here in a few. Alrighty, let's put this back together now and test it. So we'll start with this. Let's put the shielding back on there. Uh, let's see, I want to make sure I don't forget anything. Okay, so I try to be as careful as possible on the actual, I'm going to guess, serial number, so it doesn't completely come off. It already looks kind of crappy as it is, so try not to uh, get it too wet. Alright, so now let's put this BB back together. seat it properly. Let's put this in there. The ribbon cable back where it belongs. And put this down because I'll make sure that it's in all the way. Got a good contact there. A little tuck. Good. On and off switch. Awesome. And let's secure this board. Um, let me see something. Two, four, six. Okay. Try to remember what screws. Over the ones I took out for the actual board itself. I think it's these these three down here. Oops. So there we go. Put this back in there. Stay in there. And now let's put on the back case. Everything is in its place. Good, good. And is it off? Yes, it is. All right. Let's get the other screwdriver. Yeah, this here is my 
at least this channel is my my therapy I have a very busy life and this helps me decompress and kind of escape reality for a little while okay now let's put some batteries in there I need to check and see if these batteries are good or not uh, these were in the Game Genie so I doubt that they'll be good I don't even know if, if if this thing even works well let's try it out see if it turns on if it doesn't then I'll just use the power adapter um, well I don't want to go and search I mean I know where the batteries are but I don't want to go and get them let me clean the back cover a little bit all right So let's hit on. Yeah, batteries might be dead. So let's try. I saw I saw that screen kind of um uh, that how it um forget that term. Oh, uh, let me get let me get the power adapter while I think of the term. All right, so here's the adapter. Plug that in. Grab my power here. Power is plugged in. Power is on. LCD might be bad. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take it apart and make sure that that ribbon cable is indeed um, uh, set in all the way. Let me grab a game. Let's try Pokemon. Oh, are these things child childproof or what? Can I open the freaking case? There we go. I hear it start, but it's not. The screen is um, a little finicky here. I hear it. Okay. Let me take it apart. Again. And see if the uh, that ribbon cable let me reseat it. Okay, let's take this off. Clean the contacts. Make sure they're uh, nice and clean. There we go. Power. I'm just kind of touching any of the electronics. And power. Let's see. Better? I don't see anything on the screen yet, but let's let me wait. Is there a contrast? There is a contrast. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see that. There we go. So it was the um, that ribbon cable was not seated properly. So Pokemon Red version. That lighting is so crappy, I know. But everything seems to be working. 
Uh, let's see. Press A. Let me see up and down. Yep. Okay. So we have a working unit here. We unplug this. Now I'm going to put it back together and grab some batteries to make sure that the batteries do work. So I will be right back and what I'll do in the meantime is put this back together off camera and I'll be back with the batteries. Be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. So let's replace the batteries and see if it works with batteries. Let me grab another game. So we know Pokemon works. At the same time I can test the games and see if they actually the games and see if they work or not. Let's try let's try Zelda. Dude, you gotta be kidding me, man. These freaking cases are dumb proof. There we go. Alright. So here's Zelda. I can't see crap. Oh, there it is. I'm not a big fan of the black and white, but more of a color person. But you can see it works. So as I was, so it does work with the batteries. So this is what I'm going to do. I am going to give away this Game Boy. Well, got to be a couple prerequisites first, of course. So the first prerequisite is that I need to have at least uh, how many views? I don't want to. Uh, how many views? Let's do when I reach 100 views on this video, I'll set up a raffle. And what I'll do is I'll keep it simple. Just leave a comment and uh, saying that you're interested in the game or whatever. Any comment will do. I don't care. Uh, we'll, again, we'll keep it simple. Uh, leave a comment, and those who leave a comment will go into the drawing, and I'll do a live drawing and to see who wins it. And I'll throw in the Game Genie too. What the heck? I don't care. Uh, so we'll do the Game Genie and the Game Boy to one lucky winner. I won't do any games because I'm gonna, I am gonna sell these games separately or hold on to them, I'm not sure yet. But, you know, don't be, don't be greedy, folks. We'll do that. So I'll do the game, the uh, Game Boy Pocket and the Game Genie. I'll give it away when I receive 100 views and once I do that, then I'll take the names of any one that comments on the video, put that into a random drawing, and choose a winner, and ship it out to you. Uh, I'll pay for the shipping. If it is out of the country, out of the country, if it's out of the U.S., then um, you could pay for shipping, or it'll go to someone else. Uh, you know, I'll choose a second, uh, a second uh, winner. Um, just because shipping might be too expensive. I don't, I don't want to deal with customs and any other stuff. So it's got to be within the U.S. if uh, if you want to win this. Uh, maybe in the future if I find something that's lighter, a game or whatever, maybe I'll do that and open that up to international um, viewers. But for now, let's just keep it in the U.S. And I'll probably do that more commonly now um, where I'll just give away whatever I fix. And uh, instead of selling it, I honestly don't have the time to list and do all that other stuff. Uh, I'd rather just give it away. And, you know, kind of a thank you for, for being uh, viewers and following my channel. Um, so that's the way of me thanking you guys. So let's do that. So uh, let's get the views going, the likes, subscriptions, whatever, all that other good stuff, and we'll take it from there. So for now, we successfully were able to fix a Game Boy, and good luck to all of those that enter. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.